Hello, I'm Mark Riggleman, Executive Director of the International Music Foundation, and I'm delighted to welcome you to this year's virtual Do-It-Yourself Messiah. I wish that we could be together this year, but since we can't, we decided to produce an abbreviated program that you could enjoy from the comfort of your own home. Our program features highlights from Messiah and a combination of newly recorded material, along with footage from our 2017 performances at the Harris Theater. Although this is a shortened performance, we still hope that you will get out your score and sing along at home. Before we begin, a major thank you goes out to our esteemed conductor, Stanley Sperber, and our talented concertmaster, Richard Young. They have spearheaded this project from our very first discussions last August. Also, thank you to our incredible soloists joining us this year, soprano Michelle Arezaga and bass baritone Mark Doss. We are also grateful to have the wonderful St. James Cathedral Choir, along with music director Stephen Buzard and organ scholar Meg Cutting. They are providing the magnificent performances of three of the choral pieces in our program. And lastly, thank you to our patrons who have continued to support our programs. Our continued work throughout the pandemic would not be possible without our incredible family of donors. We are especially grateful to the Chicago Sunday Evening Club and the National Endowment for the Arts for their support of Do-It-Yourself Messiah. I hope that if you enjoy this program, you will consider making a gift to the International Music Foundation so that we can continue producing world-class performances offered to the public for free. I look forward to our being together again next December for an in-person Do-It-Yourself Messiah. Until then, please stay safe and well. So now let's go to footage from 2017 to begin our program with the overture from Handel's Messiah. I'm Richard Young, and for the last three decades, uh, I've set aside my professional activities with the Vermeer String Quartet to focus on being the concertmaster of the Do It Yourself Messiah Orchestra. I'd like to read to you something that was written by a famous Chicagoan, Jane Adams, who in the late 1800s established a settlement for immigrants. It was called Hull House. It's at the corner of Halstead and Polk. The buildings are still there. It's not too far from where we do the Messiah every year. Here's what she wrote. In a thousand voices singing the Hallelujah Chorus in Handel's Messiah, it is possible to distinguish the leading voices, but the differences of training and cultivation between them and the voices of the chorus are lost in the unity of purpose and in the fact that they are all human voices lifted by a high motive. 
The do-it-yourself Messiah experience is a unique coming together. People of all ages, from every neighborhood and suburb of Chicagoland, people from all walks of life, people who enjoy many advantages as well as some who don't, religious and non-religious people alike. Every ethnicity is represented and probably every political viewpoint as well. For that one evening, at least, we come together to celebrate that unity of purpose. You know, the feeling that we're all in this together is something that we need this year more than any other, I feel. So on behalf of our dedicated volunteer orchestra, let me now introduce our conductor, who is 6,000 miles away, my dear friend, Stanley Sperber. Thank you, Mark. Thank you, Richard. I'm delighted to welcome all you sopranos, altos, tenors, and basses, and guests to this year's mini performance online of Chicago's Do It Yourself Messiah. I've been conducting this event since 1984 in various venues in Chicago, but never in my wildest dreams did I think I would be conducting it this year from the holy city of Jerusalem. Just down the street is the old city of Jerusalem and the Via della Rosa, and a few minutes further away, about 15 or 20 minutes, is the city of Bethlehem, where Jesus was born. So I guess as a substitute city, for Chicago, Jerusalem is not a bad choice at all. George Friedrich Handel wrote Messiah in London in 1741. He did it in 24 days, which probably is less than it would take most of us just to copy out the piece. The first performance was the following year, 1742 in Dublin. And since then there's been a plethora of performances all over the world, so much so that Messiah has become the most performed piece in the history of Western music. We began with the overture, and I trust that all you oboists, bassoonists, and string players who played along with us did so in the key of E minor. We will also be performing four choruses. I will be announcing the names of the choruses and the pages that you can find them so that you can all sing along with us. I trust you'll do so in my temple. But don't worry about it too much, since uh, I don't think anybody outside your homes will know the difference. We will also have the privilege to hear two of our veteran do it yourself Messiah soloists, the magnificent soprano Michelle Rezana and uh, our international bass baritone Mark Doss. I want to thank the CEO of the International Music F Foundation, uh, Mark Riggleman, and also to my partner, Richard Young, our magnificent concertmaster, for all the work they've put in in organizing this very special event. We will now continue with And the Glory of the Lord, number four in your Messiah scores. You will find it on page 16, and we will be joined by the St. James Cathedral Choir, and I want to thank them for their artistic contribution to this event.
Next, we will hear Mark Doss, accompanied by David Schrader. Mark will be singing, Thus saith the Lord, and uh, But Who May Abide.
Michel Arezana will now perform the recitatives that precede the chorus, Glory to God, number 17, which is on page 82 in your Schirmer edition. Michel will then continue with Handel's virtuosic aria, Rejoice.
We now turn to chorus number 24, Surely, which you can find on page 113. And then Mark will sing his aria, Why Do the Nations? Followed by Michel singing, I Know My Redeemer Liveth.
Stay strong. 
And finally, the chorus that needs no introduction, the Hallelujah Chorus, number 44, on page 193. I want to thank you for joining us online this year and look forward to seeing you live in Chicago next year in December. Until then, I send you my very best wishes from Jerusalem to wherever you may be. Thank you very much.